Ryan, it was, um, uh, you know, we, we have a lot of the same um, tastes as, as far as, uh, you know, movies and, and books go. And, um, and we were corresponding pretty heavily uh, before and after Killer Con 19. And he had just read my collection, Engines of Ruin. And mm-hmm. there's two zombie stories in there. And we were talking about um, zombies and how, how cool it would be to do a um, something that was more along the lines of Demons and Demons 2, the, the Italian horror films. Oh, okay. And uh, I had just got done watching both of them. And I was like, yeah, I was thinking the same thing, you know, and like, and, you know, instead of like a movie theater or, uh, or, you know, a, a haunted apartment complex, I, I love wrestling and I would love to do like maybe an underground wrestling show where like, you know, crap hits the fan, you know, and, uh, and, uh, and, you know, we just got talking and we were emailing back and forth and just the excitement just kept building and um and yeah it just came to this point where it's like okay so i'm gonna write eight thousand words and then i'll kick it back to you and you can write uh as much as you want to write because uh ryan loves to write yeah. <laughs> and, uh, well he's good at and, it. Uh, he's amazing at it i i um uh, i've got to be honest like if, if any i i don't know like you know his book uh general grinder in particular like i like if somebody came up to me and was like, "Read my book, Genital Grinder," I'd be like, "Really?" <laughs> but but he um he's just got he's just got a flair for words and sentences and just I I just really like the way he writes, and so yeah, it was just it was a really nice balance because I write in a very clipped minimalist style and he's yeah. very immersive, you know, and so I think um we were able to kind of create something that, that meshes both of our styles. Um, and I think people will really enjoy that one. Um, and with Shane, uh, I mean, full disclosure, Shane is like one of my best friends, like our kids hang out, you know? Okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, he's been doing a lot of screenwriting lately, but you know, every, every killer con, um, he's just like, man, I, I really miss writing books and you know, this this uh past one you know the virtual one i uh i was just like well i miss your pros too you know and uh, why don't you uh why don't you james patterson me you know like send me an outline and, uh, <laughs> and i'll you know and uh and that's what it started out as you know but now it's kind of this thing we have a publisher interested which is why i can't i can't really yeah, yeah, talk I got about, you. you know but uh but uh, it's kind of become this thing that like we're both taking very seriously, and we've got like the first six books planned. And this oh wow, bananas. that's big. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's called a uh, Razor Candy is the the line, and it's all it's standalone horror stories in this kind of goosebumpy kind of brand. Oh, that's I guess fascinating. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely yeah. gonna check that out. We mentioned the two collaborations. Is there anything that you're working on <clears throat> that that may be coming out in the nearish future um besides those two um not really uh i don't i actually don't have anything solo in the works right now i um well, two collaborations I, is a lot of work so i imagine that yeah it's taken a yeah, good time ex- yeah it is and especially you know like i mean shane is uh man he is uh he's i'm always learning from that guy you know oh yeah <laughs> just, uh, yeah yeah which so it's uh yeah, it's definitely he's very meticulous when it comes to um, uh, structure and theme. Whereas I tend to, um, I, I I think I tend to eventually get there, but for the most part, like writing for me tends to be more of an exploratory process. So uh, so this is like definitely taking up a lot of headspace trying to figure out you know like how to work together and and it's all good because we're like having fun doing it, but it's definitely definitely immersive well i was about to say you know with the when you pick two heavy hitters to to collaborate with i imagine you're you're kind of challenged to bring your a game to to both projects exactly exactly you're not not making it too easy on yourself there no Um, no uh and the ryan thing we finished that uh last last year and and it's like but uh but yeah we're still uh you know talking about it exciting ways to promote it because it's like you know 
I feel like horror and wrestling have always been kind of these weird bedfellows. And <laughs> I'm like, I know there's crossover potential in there somewhere, but you know, and of course, you know, the haters will be like, well, wrestling fans don't read. And I'm just like, yeah, they do. They read wrestler autobiographies. Come on. Like, 